for those of you that have seen some of my previous videos, uh, you know that my uh, solar uh, generator, which is the Goal Zero Yeti 400, is part of my uh, primary preps. So it also helps when I go camping. But in a small apartment or an apartment living, uh, this helps as a backup both to my home office as well as uh, in, in case uh, I lose power or the grid goes off. However, there are some limitations. These are my three uh, solar panel sources. Uh, and as you can tell, it's winter time. And this is the first day of sunlight uh, in uh, over a week. What does that mean? <laughs> that means that there has been no way to charge my, uh, my solar generator. So the lesson learned there is uh, that solar generator would not last uh, more than a couple of days, maybe three at the most, uh, trying to keep my, my tech and comms charged. So uh, what do you do? Well, that brought me to the conclusion that I, <laughs> I actually need to get a uh, some kind of gas powered generator but you have to think through that because I live in an apartment complex uh, so obviously it can't be something that generates a lot of noise so I'm looking for something that's really quiet uh, I'm also looking for something that uh, is small weighs 50 pounds or less because my rule is if I can't carry it I don't have it as part of my preps. Uh, the second thing is how much fuel and how long it will last because that gas power generator is going to be used to charge the solar generator because the solar panels won't. So now you have to ask how much fuel uh, do you need uh, to, to, charge the solar, to, to charge the solar generator. The other thing is it must be outside, so uh, it can't be in an enclosed area, uh, which I don't have on the, on the patio. However, uh, I don't want carbon monoxide from the exhaust of the, of the gas generator to uh, interfere with any neighbors uh, or have that as an issue. I don't think that would be an issue because it's outside, it's well ventilated, uh, but it is something that I think about. So my ask of, of you folks is this. Do you know of a good gas powered, super quiet? Super quiet means um, if you had it in a campground and you were running it, that it wouldn't piss off your neighbors. Right Now remember, this thing is not going to be running full bore, won't be running all the time. It'll only run for that period of time necessary to recharge the solar generator, and then the other things will run off of it primarily. So that's my thinking. Uh, any, any ideas you folks have, please let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. Carry on.